feel like there's some more practice. Let's start getting some more practice with, as, as we promised and we talked about. Let's get some more practice. Because practice is going to make the difference as you start to learn addition in, in, in general. So let's apply it to slightly bigger numbers. So let's say you had two plus three. If you started out of two and you went up three, where would you be? Five, right? That's a good one. You, you know you'd be at five, right? So what about two plus four? What is two plus four? Or you can take, what is four plus two? Either way, you're going to get the same number. You're going to end up at six, right? Very good to think about that. So you're going to end up at six. Two plus four or four plus two is six. Now let's say if we ended up at, we're at two, we started out at two, we went up one. Where do we go? Two plus one is going to be three. Next number in line is going to be three. So two plus one is three. Let's, let's look at this a slightly different way. What is a two plus one again? So that's that's just one of the three. That's, that's just another one you can think about. Two plus one is three. So no problem with that. We know what the answer to that is. Then let's, let's go to a final one. Two plus two. If you were at two plus two, what would that be? That would give you four, right? Two plus two is four. One last one, let's take a look at. Let's say we were, are going to add two plus six, or look at another, we start out six and we add two. Whichever way you go, what would we add? If you start out six and you add two, where would you be? You would be at eight, right? Two plus six is eight. So that's a great way to think about it. So well, no matter what you're doing, remember sure that you practice. Make sure that you practice, practice, practice as much as you can, because practice is going to make the difference when it comes to whether or not you're, you're doing better and you're learning more in terms of math and adding.